right? If I feel that push and I try and stop here, this is going to not be removed. So that back push has to come back to the my base, and now I can put it up, right? So you practice this one. Imagine like it's more of a dynamic push. So it gets pushed forward, my arm comes up, I bring it back, and then I get the elbow forearm in between, right? I normally go. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh. Keep going. Hey, Lydia. Sorry about that. I was getting the class started, and then I just noticed that you're in the waiting room. So we're doing a back choke, right? So I'll walk through this with you. So we're here. You're going to bring your right arm forward. And you step forward with your left foot. You look under your arm. And then you step back with your right foot as your right elbow comes down. Right? And then I know it's probably hard to turn around and see me. But then you would hit right elbow, right forearm strike, and then right knee. And then you go back to your guard. Right? So do it this way. Actually turn away from the screen. Look away from the screen. Because then when you turn back around, you'll be able to see them, right? So we're facing this way position, and then let me see which way are you looking at. So now you're going to step forward with your left, put your right arm forward, right? There you go, yeah, yeah. Now look under your right arm, and then turn, step back with the right foot as your right hand comes back. Yes, and now right elbow, right forearm, right knee, back to back. Again, turn away from the mirror, turn away from the screen, and step forward with the left, right arm goes out. Look under the right arm, step back with the right foot, bring your right elbow in, and then right elbow, right forearm, right knee, back to back. Okay? So, and time! All right, so now everybody do it on the count, ready? Position! Yeah, yeah. Do the best you can with it, ready? Go! <laughs> And position. Do it again. Go. Just realized that you were up on the screen instead of me being thin. Sorry. And position. Two more times. Go. And position. One more time. Go. And turn back on face towards the front. And that's possibility down the side. Remember with these, I want my feet directly underneath my hips. And if I think of the positioning of my feet, it should be the center of my heel to the center of my toe. So my toe should almost look like this. Quite continuous. Arms directly out to the side, palms in the face down. Stick your thumbs out, and as you come over the top of the circle, the thumbs are moving forward, right? 30 seconds. Go. Arms straight out to the side. Be conscious of how your posture is. And you cost building exercises in bad posture. Probably not going to work so well. And the arms lock up straight. Put your hands up as far away from your body as you can go. Ten more seconds. Keep going. And time. Shake your arms up just for a moment. And now we're going to go to the exact opposite direction. So arms are back out. Palms are up, and now again I go the opposite direction. So my thumbs are going over the top of the circle, and I'm going in the direction my thumbs are facing as they come over the top. So keep your arms straight. This one's really easy to start doing these, and no longer posture building after that. Not sure why you did that. It's probably sloppiness. YouTube did not develop our posture. <laughs> For my years ago, I used to say, casualness. 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 
and time. Shake out your arm and now deep breath in. Ready? Yeah. Going into some of our short range more thigh skills. So my hands are nice and tight. I'm just going to hit short quick with my lead elbow. There's not a huge wind up to this. I don't want to drop my shoulder back. I just lift my elbow up and hit. Remember to be the point of the elbow. I don't need to generate a ton of power. If I hit somebody in the head with a hammer, and of course the question is always, how hard do you want to get hit in the head with a hammer? Of course, the answer is I don't want to get hit in the hammer at all, right? It doesn't take a lot of pressure to hit with that elbow right in the side of the vertical and get you down, right? On your own, go! Lead elbow, short and tight, boom! Just real quick, the elbow comes up, the shoulder drives through a little bit, other hands on the forehead, protect the head. See how awesome my Zoom team looks! Zoom team! Nice work, Lydia, looks good. Get that shoulder turned through just a little bit. So instead of my shoulder staying back here, I'm going to turn my shoulder through. Just a little, get a little extra power. There you go, that's better. Yes, yes, good. Now we're going to have the back elbow. So I go knee elbow right into my back elbow. Knee elbow, back elbow, everything's short and tight. Go to work. Knee elbow, back elbow. Elbows come right back in. Don't leave the chicken wings out. See it, Lydia left, right, right. Had a girl, looks good. Now stay with this side board, and I want you to imagine that the person is punching you with a cross and no hook. So I'm playing right cross, left hook, and you guys are going carry, cover, re elbow, back elbow, waiting to your back knee, right? So the person hitting me, they're in close, going one, two, and I'm going carry, cover, one, two, three. So I'm hitting their mid range, and my counters are coming short range, three and five all time, right? So on your own again, left hand carries, right hand covers, knee elbow, back elbow, back knee. Lower! Yes, sir. Left, right, left, right, right. We'll have fun. This will help you. It was fun for me with the juniors. Thank you. 
that elbow on the side of their head and they'll know never to touch you again. Remember quickly also, details on the elbow, just everybody hold it for a moment, is I want my palm down to the ground when I do the elbow. I want the hand close to my body. If my palm is facing this way, I don't have as much power with the elbow as if my palm is down. From a physiological standpoint, this has more power than that, right? You want to be conscious of that. Second is I want my hand tight to my body because if I start extending this angle, I lose power as well. The tighter I can make this angle, the more power there's going to be. So my hand is nice and tight as I'm coming through that. Okay. Another one. Okay. There are back to work. One more second, then we're going to add on these. Okay. 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 Add on the left knee, go! Yeah. Right left, left, right over left, over right knee, right over left, over left knee, back knee, right up. Love the little Yeah, that's a good one. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so now let's add on the cross hook. So we'll pretend this out far just to make it a little easy. So they're throwing the left cross into the right hook. And you guys are here, you're pairing with your, they're on this side now. So they're on that side. So I'm pairing right, left hand, right hand. Pairing right hand, left hand covered. And now I come back. Right, left elbow. Right into my left knee, right? Carry right, open left, right, left, left. And one more time, slow. Carry right, open left, and back, right, left, left. On your own, go! One, two, one, two, three. That's it, Lydia. Carry, cover, good. And then one, two, three. Good. Nice work. Take that elbow to come right off of that cover. Carry, cover, fire the elbow right off of it while they're still not even realizing they missed you. Oh, wait, sorry. This is on the screen. Comes ready, carry, covers, elbow, elbow, knee. Yeah, the girls do it again. Ready, parry, cover, elbow, elbow, knee. Nice, one more time, faster. Ready, uh, uh. awesome work, and time right there now. Little bit longer range with Muay Thai. Now we're going to jump ready to hit stuff, but I want to cover this really fast. Move to the front of your squares, and we're going to use the tape. To kind of understand the switch step. So I start with the tape underneath my feet, and as I switch, I hop onto the tape with both of my feet. I'm going to throw a jab at the same time, and then I come right back here. So I switch step as I jab, and I come right back. This is not a jab that's going to cover space. This is that sneaky jab. So I'm already in range, and as I jab you, I'm getting my head offline as I sit, right? Or 
Then you try to jab me, and I turn my head off wide, I turn the jab as I push up here, I switch my stance, and look how that leads right into the good step round up, right? So we're gonna start it's just a good jab. So switch jab, come right back. Switch jab, come right back. I know, no! Switch jab. Zoom team. Nice, Lydia. Looks good. That a girl. That's it. You got it. Now I have a roundhouse kick. Switch out into the roundhouse kick. Go! Yeah. And time! All right, now quickly switch your chest, and let's get it on the other side. So now I right side and forward, I switch my feet, I kick my jab, I come back to the guard. Switch jab, switch right back. Switch jab, switch right back. Good work! Make it a quick one instead of one, two, like that. You'll move much faster than I have. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. 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 That's it, Lydia. Nice work. Awesome. Come on, come on. Give me 15 more seconds. Get back. Start hitting stuff. Time! And here's where you have to do the double first round. You only need to go out to this first round. The first round you need to double first round. We're just going to work on the short range Muay Thai skills to the elbow, elbow, into the knee. And we're going to jump right into the whole combination. And I want you to think slow with this one. Make sure you're touching the target with the front of the elbow and stopping on the edge of the target. If when I hit the target, I hit the front of the target, I don't care if it's on my target. I'm going to clean them off so I'm going to want to stand on your elbow. So the first question is that just do the elbow the first one we'll end with. So we're gonna go one, two, come right back. One, two, come right back. Left side forward, three, two, one, go. Good. Left, right, hands right back in. One, two. Touch up. Touch up. Yeah. 
Yeah. You have to be able to do it without grabbing the target. Up, and then punch forward with the hip. Nice. Good work, Lydia. Remember, it's the back knee right now. Left, right, right. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's it. Come on, 15 more seconds. Keep going. Go to the noose. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shins in there, come on, rip breaker. How amazing is Lydia looking? I'm sure amazing as always. That's it, Lydia. Last side forward, pop, pop. Nice. Nice, good work. Be allowed to have. 
Jerusalem, and if they want, right? You know, usually it's three days and it's going to be stuck in Canada. Is it okay to have different groups of friends? Even if they don't know each other? Of course, right? When I was in school, I had two very distinct groups of friends. And, you know, I bounced back and forth between either group, right? Some days I'd sit and punch for these guys, some days I'd punch for those guys. And they didn't mean they knew certain things of the work, but they didn't hang out. They weren't groups of friends. They were group friends that are A and B weren't friends with each other, but I was friends with both groups. And keep in mind, certainly as adults, we understand this, although we can probably look at some of our workplaces and still see those exact same things happening where people are like, oh, you hang out with those people, right? And sometimes it's just a mental thing, right? Sometimes you can be very realistic. Right? So if I have a group of friends, that, that whole group of friends all smoke, they all do drugs, they all drink, they all skip school, they all get bad grades, you know, my friends that are good kids might go, you know what, you can kind of hang out with those guys. We really don't want to hang out with those kids. We don't want that in our life. And I can tell you, I know black belts, not necessarily here, but in Cicero, when I used to teach in Cicero, there was one of our black belts that had to make a very tough call because some of the kids he grew up with from elementary school into middle school started going down the wrong path. And he knew that wasn't the path that he wanted, but they were friends literally for eight, ten years. They were like his best friends. They lived in the neighborhood, they lived across, you know. Together, we class together, and he had to stop hanging out with these kids because he knew that it wasn't a path that he wanted to go down. And it was probably one of the toughest decisions he ever had to make in his life. And even to this day, as an adult, he's 30 something now, but I got to that decision. It's probably the hardest decision he's ever had to make in his life. And so it's important to understand it's okay if sometimes you have to cut your losses with friends if they're going in a different direction. It's okay to have different groups of friends. Right? And if one of your groups of friends is like, you know, you got to hang out with us and stop hanging out with them, and there's no other basis than you're just two different groups of friends. Then you have to, you know, take that in stride and understand what that might mean. Now, understand this too. How many of your friends probably understand all these concepts that I'm talking about? Like, almost none of them, right? Because, again, people don't stop and think and think personal self-development. What are my role for friends? What your friends do? What your friends never do? You know, we kind of talk about what by talking things. You guys are a little bit more intelligent on those levels than most of the kids your age because we're discussing kind of a lot. Most people never discuss. There's a whole adult life you don't discuss. Okay. So you also want to take it in stride when you see somebody do something that you'll talk. That violates one of my rules of friendship, right? Understand that they probably don't even realize it's a rule of friendship. Right? And most of the time you have disagreements with friends. Somebody violated a rule. And most of the time, because we talked about this, you'll see it, but they'll have no clue that they violated one of your rules. And even when you explain it to them, you still may not get it. You have to be patient. Everybody relax in. Loud and proud, I think that's the student of the martial arts. I will live by the principles of black belt. I will live by the principles of black belt. Modesty. Modesty. Courtesy. Courtesy. Integrity. Integrity. Self-control. Self-control. Perseverance. Perseverance. And indomitable spirit. And indomitable spirit. What is the goal? Black belt. Excellent. Special stance. Position. Courtesy. Out. Impact. Martial arts. Awesome! High five! Awesome work today! Zoom team! Leah, you rock as always!